Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be diving into a character mod that's going to excite all of you League of Legends and Arcane fans out there. Say hello to Jinx the Loose Cannon now in Risk of Ring 2. Lemon Lust has once again given us another League of Legends character uh, from the roster. He's been doing a great job of recreating a lot of the League of Legends characters in Risk of Rain, and this time we have Jinx. Jinx was also a prominent character in the Arcane series that came out on Netflix, and uh, knowing that Season 2 will be coming soon, I hope that she does make a return so we can see her again. But let's get right into her abilities. We'll start with her passive, Get Excited. After scoring a takedown on bosses, champions, or elites, Jinx gets a surge of energy, granting her increased move speed, which decays over 6 seconds. She also gains a 25% boost to her attack speed. It's that adrenaline rush that perfectly captured Jinx's wild personality. Next up, we have Jinx's basic attack. Jinx shoots a 3 round burst with her minigun, generating stacks of rev up, stacking up to 3 times. Each stack grants more attack speed, making her a formidable force to any enemy that would dare fight you. Next up, we have Jinx's alternate fire, Zap. Zap fires a shock blast that deals 1000% damage. This makes it one of the easiest abilities to proc your runic bands with, making it an instant kill to anything that could get in your way. Next up, we have Switcheroo, which is an ability that lets you switch between Jinx's minigun and Jinx's rocket launcher. When you switch over to the rocket launcher using this ability, you gain the ability to do damage both AoE and also a new ability which is to be able to rocket jump with said rockets. This means that anytime that you shoot any, uh, any nearby enemies or any of the floors or walls near you, you can use that momentum to push yourself in the opposite direction. A fun thing about this too is that while you are using the momentum of the rocket to fly, you do not have to worry about fall damage as all fall damage is mitigated. This is also a great way to reduce any falling damage that you would have taken normally by just shooting a rocket underneath you and timing it right before you hit the floor. And lastly, we have Jinx's ultimate ability, Super Mega Death Rocket. With this ability, Jinx will send a massive rocket that will explode on impact with the first thing it hits. This does massive AoE damage, and the damage that the rocket deals is also based off how far it travels, so shooting it for farther away is better. It also does extra damage for any missing health that the enemy has, so it's a great way to execute bosses. Um, even though the cooldown is actually quite short on this ability, so you don't actually have to worry about saving it. Just shoot it as much as you can. It is a great way to deal with large groups of enemies. It does have one extra little perk too with this, that if you do find the red item, the pocket ICBM, it does increase the damage of the rocket, but no actual projectiles will be fired or any other extra projectiles will be fired when you shoot this rocket out. Now then, for my overall thoughts on this character, Jinx is essentially what she would have been if she were taken from League of Legends and dropped into the Risk of Rain universe. She shows off all of the great chaotic talents that she's always had in League of Legends, but is now able to use them on an even crazier battlefield, and we can really see what she's able to do when she has the chance to use all of her abilities and quirks to the her best. So, in terms of positives, uh, the character really does give you a sense of chaos and fun. Uh, it is the epitome of fun. You're going to have a great time playing this character no matter what. It feels good in the hands and it plays very, very well. It never feels too jank or anything like that. All of the character's movements and animations are all really, really good. And you really feel like um, that sense of speed and adrenaline that you would with some character like this. As for the negatives, I have two things. First, we'll start off with uh, Switcheroo and her rocket launcher. While the rocket launcher does give you one of the best movement abilities there is, which is the rocket jumps, it, it can be very much abused very quickly. Especially in the early game, it doesn't matter as much once you get into the later rounds, as you will probably by then already have a ton of move speed and or other ways to traverse very easily 
but especially in the early it feels like it's a very cheap and easy way to get out of bad situations very quickly uh, because of the amount of pushback that the rockets can give you you tend to be able to move out of a bad situation without really any repercussions whatsoever so even if you do get yourself into a bad spot you shoot the floor two to three times and you're probably far away enough from any enemies that you're gonna be able to live no matter what which then comes to the second thing besides rocket jumps which is great the rockets don't really feel like they provide anything besides the mobility but that could be what they were going for as it already is giving you an ability that is quite powerful in that movement tech you may be losing out on actually being able to use the rockets for things like damage or proccing other abilities from what at least I could of playing it, it doesn't feel like the rockets proc all that much or that can proc all that much and you would think so since it's a slower and more AOE targeted ability that the rockets might have a higher proc coefficient making them able to proc your abilities a lot easier or your other items a lot easier. But a lot of the times I found that I had a much easier time just using Zap as my ability procker than anything else. Uh, and even sometimes just the minigun itself would eventually gain so much damage from all the attack speed and other um, items and getting crit that you really wouldn't have too much issue proccing something like a ukulele or anything like that. So a lot of the times I didn't really need the rockets un unless I was specifically trying to AOE a couple of enemies or if I was really just trying to get out of the way as fast as possible which made it made the rockets feel a little bit useless at times especially towards the later rounds as once you're in for quite a few uh, rounds the rockets really don't have much of a use because you already have so much movement and abilities to get around um, and movement speed that you really don't need anything to push you out of the way that fast. But overall, this character is like a masterclass in how to really create a recreate a character into a different game. Uh, it still feels like I, I have the same character plucked out of League of Legends and dropped into the game world and I, I'm getting to enjoy the chaos and the adrenaline that comes along with playing as someone that's like Jinx. And getting all that move speed, attack speed, and getting buffing yourself by doing good and being aggressive it just feels like a really good gameplay loop uh, when it comes to something like risk rain so it gives you a lot of incentive to play more aggressively and really go for those big attacks to try to keep your attack speed chained uh, going so that you can keep doing as much damage as possible and clear out as many enemies as quickly as possible so overall this is a very very good character well that's it for me you guys let me know what you think of this character and if you're going to be trying it out please leave a comment i'd love to know what you think of the character itself uh, and how you had fun playing with it but that will do it for me i'll catch you on the next one